What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another Let's Play of the Straight Pocket Pixel Horror. Arr. I am the Mighty Muse, and thank you so much for watching. We're going to continue, and this might be the last playthrough. This might not be. I've been saying it's the last playthrough for about three episodes now. So we shall see. All right, we did the first two bosses. Let's see if we can get the last one. I think we just finished um, with the second one. What? Right, we are finally back. I guess I didn't save the progress from the last time. Yep, I know. I tried to play a little bit more. Uh, we gotta go in there and see what the third safe holds. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's see what the third safe. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Can't talk. What's it got in here? Let's see. Ooh, it's a rag. It's a rag. A dirty old rag. Mm -hmm. Fuck this rag, I don't need it. Oh, I'll throw it in the trash. Oh, we overflowed the toilet. Jenny! Jenny, the toilet's overflowing! Jenny, the toilet's clogged. Could you go and take a look, please? What am I, a plumber? You know we hired a janitor a little while back. Um. I'll just call him. No, no, don't do it. I was going to talk to him anyway, so I might as well just tell him about the toilet. That's nice of you. Did you talk to the janitor? I'm on it. Leave me alone, woman. I'm on it. I'll go get the janitor. Do it myself. Janitor! Toilet's messed up. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, what are you doing? on a nameplate for you, Mr. Price. Huh? Um. Hmm. Oh, whoa. What is that thing? Hmm? Go ahead, go look at it. Don't fuck with your phone, son. I turned the phone off. Run! Jenny! So I thought I saw the janitor earlier, but now I can't find him anywhere. Maybe you should call him after all. Okay, one second. The number cannot be connected. I think his phone is powered off. What a bummer. We really need to get that toilet working again. Sigh. Okay, I'll go. Thank you, Jenny. You're awesome. I know. All right, let's get to plugging in. Get out of here, Jenny. From red to green plug. All set. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Moore. Oh, oh, what's up, Jenny? Mrs. Goodwin is waiting on the line. Can I connect her? Please do. Moore. Hi, Mr. Moore. This is Goodwin. How are you doing, Mrs. Goodwin? Not too well, to be honest. My pension isn't too much. And all the meds are awfully expensive. Maybe you should have worked harder. Or eat healthier. Your debt is only your own doing. That's not fair, Mr. Moore. You know my husband passed away. And all the bureaucracy and confusing laws. Well, I just don't think it's fair. Then I need to pay the inheritance tax. Well, you should have done the proper paperwork. There are laws and you must honor them. 
I suppose, Mr. Moore, I suppose. Well, the reason I'm calling is that I'm asking you a, a little more time. I've been arranging my things and- No. The law does not compromise. There's nothing I can do. Surely there- Goodbye. What an old hag. Oh, there she is. Is that her? Come here, Mrs. Goodwin. Whoa. The <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> I didn't even notice the room. I was too busy looking at the ghost that was walking around. Wasn't the room just green? What's happening? Go and show them, dear. The moment of truth, son. Where are we going? Seems like a very, uh, Oh, I guess, whoop, wrong way. Let's go back this way. Seems like something big is about to happen. Hello, Mrs. Goodwin. I'm coming. Whoa, stuff's changing. All right, got some strange stuff happening. I entered through the door. It was black as night and quiet as a grave. Only the pulse of my heart broke the silence. One more step. And the lights came alive with a shout. Surprise! The band started playing. Balloons floated to the ceiling. They were all there. My bosses, Jenny, and my colleagues. It took a moment for me to figure out what was going on. I had proved myself. The party was for me, my partnership. I took a long breath and swallowed. I prepared myself to shout my resign out loud. But then something happened. A purple silky cloth revealed its secret. A new sign with my name on it. McDade, Breton, Moore, and Price. Greed rendered its ugly head, and my backbone snapped like a dry stick. But did you get your partnership? What happened next? Yeah, I got my partnership. Well, I suppressed my feelings, my guilt. I kept working for a few years. You sure you don't want to swig? No thanks, sir. I'm on duty. I hope you don't mind if I do. Not at all, sir. I lied to myself. It's all okay, I said to myself. I just kept blowing into the balloon, you know. It only stretches so far. My mind broke. I started slipping. Heck, maybe even I wanted to. Soon after that, I got fired. In the standard of living I was used to, I run into debt big time. I lost everything. I feel pretty horrible for talking over your property now. Taking over your property now. Listen, kid. The reason I told you my story... Please say no more, sir. You really remind me when I was younger. I'll admit your story really puzzles me. I will give my career a second thought for sure. This probably was the first good deed I've done in my whole life. Please think it through so you won't end like I do. I will. Oh gosh, I hate doing this. You'll have to move out by the end of this month. I know the drill, kid. Take care now. So we're losing our house. I really hope you listened to my story. I think this is it. So this whole game was him telling the story to the guy that came to evict him from his house. Uh, okay. So I guess we're going to uh, try and end our life now. 
spent my last coin to buy this shotgun. I guess it's time to use it. Let's go ahead and save while we're here. Just don't want another incident like last time. Pressing to write a suicide note. What do I have to say? What comes around goes around. Fuck it. That'll have to do. That's it. I feel bad for him. I hope he'll be fine. Come on, elevator. I just want to get away from here. And that is it. I guess that concludes the series for Distraint Pocket Pixel Horror. I thought it was a pretty good game. I don't know if you can quite consider it a horror game. It did have its gruesome points, you know, but there wasn't very much in the way of, of horror in there. I will call it more of a thriller, really, but I think it was good. It's definitely worth the playthrough. Um, I can see why it has such good reviews on it. What is this? There's Mrs. Goodwin. Hi, Mrs. Goodwin. Hey, players. This is Jesse Mekinen. Hopefully you enjoyed the game. This was a speed project of mine. The whole game was made in three months. Though I got some help from my wife, Jenny. She had lots of great ideas that ended up in the game. It'd be very different without her different game with her. Thanks, babe. Total day spent 82. Total hours spent 620. Large cups of coffee consumed 155 of 541. Water glasses consumed 267 of 1201. Brainstormings in Sauna 16. Nice little uh, thank yous at the end. Oh, is that her husband? That is a great way to end it. See if I can make that my thumbnail. The end. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around through this whole playthrough of Distraint Pocket Pixel Horror. That is the final ending. That is the end of the game. So tell me what you thought of the game in the comment section down below. And uh, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button for more updates and more games uh soon to come so i appreciate you guys so much for watching and until next time i will see you in the next episodes peace out guys